Okay, we are now at Big Bay on Lake Superior. I'll show a video later. We're going on a cruise around Picture Rock, I think it's called. So lots to come, but very nice little cabin. This was her grandparents back in the day. So this is very nice that we're able to stay here. About 24 years ago now. Through the Niagara area. Now they said that the middle of the bowl shaped system is in the summer around the Lansing area. But actually, if you've dug down far enough right around that area, you might find the same type of rocks that you're looking at right over here. And you may notice that these rocks actually do have two distinct layers to them. The upper layer, which is kind of that grayish color, is that dolomitic sandstone. Kind of a hard rock or harder sandstone. What the level is right below it, the more tannish color, that's a munising to local Native Americans from the top of that cliff. Oh, well, Miner's Castle is roughly about 80 feet high now. It's got the Park Service erected platforms just above Miner's Castle, also the cliffs surrounding it. They also built a nice little park up there. Take it out here, take H58 east end of Munising, follow the road signs. It takes you about 20 minutes to get out here. We were, uh, we were coming by here, it was eh, just last fall. We got to witness a wedding being performed right on top of that castle. Oh, wow. Oh, may the passengers thought that was a beautiful place for a wedding. I agree, but it's only marriage I know of that started off on the rocks. They don't get any better either. <laughs> right here. This is actually what's left of Bridal Veil Falls. Well, Bridal Veil Falls, they used to run pretty heavy, but well, some beavers built a dam up there on the river. Pretty much dried those falls up. Now these three next large coves that we're coming up to. Oh, these are called the Painted Coves. Now, you're going to start noticing quite a bit of... stunts are grow. It's kind of why they look like little bushes up there now. Okay. It is two feet. Oh wow.
caves and caverns reaching to almost where the boat is right now. But they came crashing in back in 1902. That large cave in that you see in the mouth of Grand Portal, eh, happened about 33 years ago. Before that happened, you take a small boat straight through there. Stern ends are back ends of several of the old time sailing vessels all lined up in a row towards the beach. And here they come now. This is our battleship row. Oh my gosh. Sometimes people have a hard time making this one up. It's called the broken flower base. Now picture the trees as the flowers and the rock as the base. It's kind of got a narrow waist or step. And some people from the Detroit area said it looked a lot like the Stanley Cup. I'm surprised I can still remember what the Stanley Cup looks like. Oh. Next informations are called the Indian drums. They kind of look like large elephant's feet. Yeah. And said when a 15 to 20 foot wave comes crashing in there, it sounds a lot like thunder. their leaves. Pennies would have sunk. Coming into the cove. We're backing out of here though. If you look on the left hand side, you'll notice a green vein of copper. Yeah, pretty much right down the left hand side of Chapel Cove. But more importantly, if you look on the right hand side, You can, you can pull it off. I'm oh, okay the shopping tag? I guess I, I thought I got them all. <laughs> oh, I see. Is it still I don't see it. Oh, here it is. You do it. I'll just do that and you can do the little so plastic thing. Yeah, I don't want you to rip it. <laughs> yeah, Margaret still had her tag on her <laughs> Take a lot of 
Falls. And this is Spray Falls. Well, Spray Falls is kind of unique. It's one of the only waterfalls that runs year round. And what happens is the ice column will form and the water will run right through the middle of the ice column. its rudder and its capabilities of maneuver ended up into the glyphs right through this area. Well, you see that there are still parts of that spear kind of scattered around. Most of the time, 